Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're getting into the next episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We're actually on the episode 10 of the fifth season. We're actually almost wrapping it up. We're coming to the end of the season here. And, oh my gosh, the last episode. <laughs> Mac and Dennis broke up. <laughs> They're so codependent. You don't even realize it, like, throughout all the other episodes because you don't really see their home life, right? Like, but... They are roommates, they do work together, they're together all the time. And as soon as D pointed that out, Dennis was like, okay, I gotta get some distance from you. And yeah, it didn't go well, right? He doesn't know how to be alone. He just went to hang out with D, made her life a living hell. Mac went over to Charlie and, and Frank's place and made Frank's life a living hell. <laughs> that, that interaction between them is hilarious. The, the whole knife, like the toe knife, and like, oh, so gross, and and the sleeping situation, and oh, <laughs> it's like, I kind of like this other situation. <laughs> sure, get bed with Charlie, you like that? Oh, they are father and son though, aren't they? So, I guess it's not, or does that make it weirder? <laughs> oh my gosh, anyways, they all got back together, like, uh, Frank, Frank and Charlie are back, just the two of them. Dennis and Mac got back together, or not back together, you just moved back in. They worked out their differences or whatever, and they ended up just leaving D stuck in a wall with some cats. <laughs> what the heck is this one gonna be about? Oh my gosh. Let's uh, just get into it and find out, though. Uh, you know the deal, though. At the end, if you like it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, all that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, check out the Patreon link down below for full reactions and early access to YouTube edits. Um, by the time this one's up on YouTube, uh, I'll be well into season six. So yeah, go check it out. All right, let's do this. So how many restraining orders does the waitress oh, have on you? A lot, that? dude. <laughs> this is incredible. You gotta so listen be... to this message. This chick is so in love with me, it's, it's, it's crazy. Hi, Dennis, it's Kaylee. I was just calling to let you know that I hope you die. <laughs> That's what you think love is, Dennis? That's the best one. Yeah, yet. it's a really good one. Is that a real one? Talking about? She hates your gut. Yeah. They don't get it because you haven't explained it to them, bro. Oh, guys, I have a system. Explain it's what? For getting any chick's undying love and devotion for life. That's that's not love. I'm talking about the Dennis system. <laughs> oh my God! What is the system gonna be? <laughs> Oh my god, Dennis. This is not gonna be good, is it? He's gonna be such a monster by the end of this, isn't he? Or he already is a monster. We're just gonna... We're just gonna think he's even more of a monster now. <laughs> the Dennis system is a comprehensive approach to seduction that I have perfected over the years. Now, the first step to any erotic conquest is to D. Demonstrate your value. In this most recent... Okay. I demonstrated my value to her by filling a prescription. I told her, it's for my grandmother. She's quite ill. <laughs> I like the recreation. That's the easy part, D. Hold on, that's the or easy part of forging prescriptions? Condoms, thus, demonstrating that I have a monster dong. Right, that comes off a little bit desperate, Frank. Now, yeah, it if does. you want to have a magnum condom peeking out of your wallet when you go to pay, that's a different story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've asked her out, you move on to E. Engage physically. I personally try to engage the girl physically without ever going on the date, which to me is really just a waste of time and money. <laughs> and then when we get to the restaurant, the restaurant is closed, as of course it always is on Sundays. Oh, fuck. This is planned. Well, I guess we could grab a pizza and watch a movie at my place. <laughs> on the couch when they come in and ask to be alone and i see i can't go into my room because i found a black widow spider in there oh well i, I guess we could always eat the pizza on my bed and watch the dvd in my room <laughs> and once we're on oh my god pizza's good you're the one that's good the system can't actually work can it smooth very classy i'm learning a lot from you right now dude <laughs> yes, Charlie. Once you've had sex with the woman, she will naturally start to depend on you. 
Okay, all women do this. They certainly do. You got that. Right, <laughs> look, guys. look at D. <laughs> Which brings me to the first N: nurturing dependence. You're gonna want to nurture that dependence that she's feeling on you now. Have her car towed, or you can slash her tire. What? Make her depend on you for rides. Or you can use my personal go-to: create a fictional angry neighbor who's threatening her, and tell her you'll take care of him. <laughs> what? Say something along the lines of, I'm watching you, you bitch. You're gonna die tonight. Oh my god, Dennis. For sake, you're a complete sociopath. Yeah, 100%. She'll naturally want to take the relationship to the next level, but you're not gonna do that. You're gonna do the exact opposite. Pull back, guys. Which brings me to the second N. Neglect guys. emotionally? Oh my gosh. Cancel all your plans. Maybe that fictional angry neighbor that comes back, and this time... You're not around to cool him off. Oh my gosh. Hello? Welcome to hell. <laughs> You're gonna terrorize this lady. <laughs> this will frighten the shit out of her. Yeah, it will. <laughs> yeah. Inspire hope. Kaylee, listen, listen. The reason I was distant is because I was afraid that you were gonna break my heart and I got scared. But I'm not scared anymore, baby. I love you. <laughs> and then, naturally, we bang. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Top gunning it up. <laughs> and this is the best bang of all because she thinks she's broken through my tough exterior and coerced affection from a man who was afraid to love. And then I slink out into the night, never to talk to her again. What? That is diabolical. Separate entirely. Yes, Mac. D E N N I S. The Dennis system. You're a monster, dude. Holy crap. You are not winning their hearts. You're torturing them. Yeah, <laughs> you really are. <laughs> and you set it up so you can get these chicks back at any time, huh? That's exactly right. You're really picking up on this. I'm proud of you, bud. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! I can absolutely get that girl back anytime I want. I just choose not to. Or is he gonna is he gonna have to prove it? I accept that challenge. I'll have her back by the end of the day. Oh my gosh. Will he actually pull it off? You're probably getting Dennis right now by that new boyfriend of yours and you don't even know. <laughs> she don't have a boyfriend. Yes, I do. Oh. The online soldier that I met. I went back together now. What? You're still with him? What? What you put him through? He, maybe he Dennis you, but he wouldn't date you. He's not Dennising me. He's in the car right now. I told him to wait for me. What? Oh my god, he is. Holy crap, look how hot he is. Did your guy's been waiting out here the whole time in the hot sun? Not even with a cracked window? Why'd you tell him to do it with the windows on? I know the engine's not That's just even cool. on. I didn't. I just didn't tell him to do it with the windows down. He's not, you know, the See, smartest, but... Oh my gosh. Hey, D, are you almost done? Yeah, yeah, I'll be done pretty soon. Oh, oh, oh okay. What, do you want me to come in? No, no, I don't. No. Oh. I'll text you when I'm wrapping up, and then you can crank the AC, cool the car off for me. Sure thing. Okay. See you, fellas. Okay. Oh, he's doing the window back up. You're getting played. You're no, getting played he's big not time. Doing big what? Time. If anything, she's playing him. Oh, they got they got in her head. This poor guy. Hey, Kaylee. What do you want? <laughs> I'm really sorry for everything that went down between us. All my fault. There's no way he's gonna pull this off, really. No, it took a turn for the worse. It's got me in a really bad place. I just, I don't know what I would do if she died. I don't think your grandmother exists, Dennis. <laughs> She's calling him out. I beg your pardon? Yeah, I looked into it. There's no um uh, Dr. Toboggan in Philadelphia either. <laughs> Not based in Philly. Oh, no? Yeah. No, it says Philadelphia right there. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, that... Mm. You're not gonna pull this off, dude. <laughs> and he knows it. He just walked away. What, what the hell are you doing here? I'm swooping in on your chick. What? What is the swooping in business? Oh, that's my system, the Mac. I wait till you're done with him, and then I swoop what? in, give him a shoulder to cry on, and then we hump. What? Really? 
I come in as the sensitive intellectual type. Why do you think I'm always reading books and shit when we do the spider routine? I thought you were just my <laughs> wingman, though. <laughs> oh, he had his own system. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here for the scraps. <laughs> You have a system where you come in after Mac? That's right. Oh my god, these poor ladies. I got my Magnum condoms. I got my Wada hundreds. I'm ready to plow. You should see him feast. He's like a mantis. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Call me that from now on. Mantis. <laughs> Look, you guys gotta back off, oh. okay? I'm trying to read Dennis. These this poor shit. women. Oh my gosh. He's right. It's a delicate ecosystem. We gotta, we gotta stick with it. Get out. Just play cool. This is so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I'm boggled by what just happened. This is so exciting. You're gonna love this. He's still wearing the jean shorts. What the? Okay, here we are. I set up a picnic for us. Nice. What the hell are you doing? What? Do you, do you not like picnics? All right, I know what's going on. Oh, D. Bring me out here to some landfill in the middle of nowhere. Landfill? I'm gonna depend on you to get home. Do you want to go? Yeah, oh yeah, but not with you. I'll go all by myself. I'll take okay. the bus. And I'll also take this, thank you. <laughs> Do you need bus fare? I don't need bus fare. I'm not sure the bus comes out here anyway. Okay, I'll walk then. In your heels? What? Here, take my boots. Stop it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Fine, all by myself, buddy. I'm doing just fine by myself. Oh. <laughs> nope. Holy crap. What, are you okay? I'm fine. Look, just stay there. I'm gonna come down to help. I won't give you the satisfaction. I'm fine. I'm independent. Oh my gosh, D. I don't need anybody. <laughs> Where are you going? Shut up. They totally got in her head. He's such a nice guy, and she's totally ruining it. Oh, what the hell? Charlie, what are you doing in her apartment? I'm here just to fix your garbage disposal. Is that a bag of hair in your hand? Have you been breaking into my apartment and shoving hair in my sink? Okay. What? Is that what he's doing? Focus on the amount of value that I'm demonstrating by fixing your garbage disposal. Will you just get the hell out of my apartment? <laughs> I like this blouse you're wearing. That's nice. Is that new? This is my uniform that I have to wear for my other job, and it's ugly. Yeah, I was just gonna say. So what's this new job? I work at the fair. Well, look at us, you know? I'm a plumber, you're a fair worker. They go well together, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. I can't get past the letter D, dude. Okay, well, what did you do, exactly? I broke into her place. I ripped her sink apart. I brought a bag of hair. You know what I mean? And I come... <laughs> Dennis is, like, so confused. Do you know anything about plumbing? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick to stocking. She got a job at the fair. It could be fun to stock around a fair. Jeez. Oh my gosh, D. I spent the night in the woods trying to demonstrate my independence. God damn. All right, I'm going to get everybody what they want, including myself. Let me just think for a second. Let me work something out here and then. Whoa. What's he doing? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Let him work. Oh my gosh. He's got it. We're going to the fair. <laughs> that will provide the perfect setting for all of our needs to be met. You'll demonstrate your value to the waitress by winning a prize at her booth. Good. It's still not gonna work. She just hates you. Now, D, your only hope is to lower Ben's value. You're gonna do this by flirting with a carny in front of him. What? Yeah, I don't know if I want to deal with a carny. No one likes dealing with carnies. And that's no, no one does. Us one. Now, Mac, you... uh, she's gonna flirt with her. Dad? Invite Kaylee out to the fair. There I shall be waiting to win back her heart. How are you gonna do that? I gotta get myself a grandmother. He's gotta prove his grandma's real. Where did he get this old woman from? Well, hello! This is a coincidence, huh? No, it's not. So, uh, what game do we have here? What game is this? He's not gonna be able to win a prize. Speed pitch. What prizes are there? There are no prizes, Charlie. It's just to see how fast can you throw. Oh, uh, there's his plan off the rails. This way, These kids Nana. are so brutal. Oh. What are you doing here? This is my Nana. She's she's on the men. This is your grandmother? Oh yeah, yeah. This is Nana. How's it look? It's great. You look like a lizard. I like turtles. Okay. Ooh, look, a carny. What are you 
you're doing? Lose the tie. You're way overdressed. I got a new angle. What? There goes her plan right out the window. Hello, Dr. Hi. Toboggan. Dr. Toboggan? What the hell are you doing? Uh, actually, it's Mantis. Mantis Toboggan. <laughs> I got your test results. You're positive. You got the HIV. Yes, AIDS, what big time. You got oh my god, he just pushed the what old lady. Doing, Where's the old lady? No more thirds for Frankie. Seconds from now on. Ah. All right. How fast? 15. 15. It's because I'm getting tired. Hey, speed pitch. Want to play? Mm, okay. Oh. Hey, guy, you work here? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. And look, a carny. Hey. <laughs> hey. I wonder if there's a kissing booth anywhere close. 64. Ah! Oh. He stabbed me with a key. Well, someone, someone call a doctor. Ah! Why would you stab me? That guy paid me too. You were supposed oh. to stab <laughs> her, man. You were supposed to stab her. <laughs> You're supposed to let her get stabbed and then you nurse her back to health, thereby making her totally dependent on you. See this? <laughs> this is so much chaos. What do you mean off your system? My there? system of seduction that these idiots are ruining right now. Ben's the only one who's using it properly. Ben is just a nice guy. You, you had your face painted like a goddamn frog person. You have no ulterior motive here. I'm a lizard. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> My monster condom that I use for my magnum dong. Give it up, Frank. I'm out of here. I'll give you a ride. Thank you. What? Oh. See, I don't like you. Well, how's that possible? You're a mean person. Yeah, you are. Nice. No, get out of here. Good for you, Ben. Yeah, shut up. Just I ruined my system. Everybody ruins my system. Oh, my system. Oh, my system, my ass. I hate carnivals. I need a ride. Is there anybody that could take me home? They're just abandoning this old lady. Oh my gosh, that was so chaotic. Okay, so that's it for that episode. And oh my gosh, there's so much stuff is going on. I feel like it's going to take a while to process about actually what just happened. But the Dennis system. Wow. Dennis is a monster. I mean, he's terrorizing these girls. Then Max cleaning up. Like, getting seconds. And then Frank's getting the scraps even after Mac. The only one not getting into it is Charlie. Well, and D. And oh my god, D. She had such a nice guy there and she was treating him like garbage. He took it as long as he could, but yeah. If I was him, I'd take off with that pharmacist too. She was really cute and yeah, give her a try. <laughs> you know, she's going to want a nice guy getting away from the craziness that is Dennis. <laughs> oh my god, I loved how he was still wearing the jean shorts too. <laughs> But I don't even understand how they ended up together. <laughs> the last we saw was at the wrestling match. And yeah, she was singing to him when she got drilled in the face <laughs> with the chair from Cricket. So how did she even pull that off to begin with? Oh boy. I didn't th I didn't think Artemis would let him go <laughs> easily. <laughs> I kind of want to see the story about that. But <laughs> I doubt we'll see it. Anyways, yeah, the whole dentist system is completely insane. And they they just ended up leaving that old lady there in the end, too. Like, that poor old woman. God, these people are crazy. Great episode, though. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, all that type of stuff. And uh, check out the Patreon link down below for full reactions and early access to YouTube edits. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Have a great day.